Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Lost Odyssey. In the last episode we uh, did battle with King Kelalon at the Kelalon village. And upon defeating him we learned the white magic spell Divide. Which is one of the most powerful spells in the game. Well it is the most powerful po spell in the game tied with Reversa. And we just so happen to have Reversa already. So we have the two most powerful spells in the game, which is awesome. And, uh, yeah, after we fought and defeated King Kelalon, we headed back to the Pirate's Fortress and looted it for items. And also, we found the last seed, which was seed number 99. And we turned them into the Pippet at the pot here to get our reward as well as turned in the last special seed the puffy seed and we got our reward for that as well so with that taken care of we have all of the seeds in the game all 99 regular seeds and then all of the special seeds so that's one thing we can check off of our checklist let's see we have all the seeds all the special seeds and all of the dreams so with all that out of the way go ahead and exit the pirates fortress and back to the world map And now our next destination is going to be the city of Numara. Alright, so now that we have the Cubic Musical Score 9, it's time to do some very important stuff. Go ahead and find uh, the Cubic Musician on the east side of the white square at the city of Numara. And choose to play the Musical Score and choose the Cubic Music Score 9. So the name of this cubic music score is the Cubic Maestro. It has a difficulty of five stars, which is the hardest the hardest that it gets. And as you can see, we have a whole two lines worth of letters we have to remember. Now the letters are R E E R D R C D E G A B F E D E B A G E C C D E A R E D So I would highly suggest to write these letters down on a piece of paper so that you will remember them because if you can remember that my hat is off to you that is crazy but for me I read them down so once you got to memorize go ahead and choose to play the cubic music score 9 and you're going to need a party of 4 <clears throat> and whenever you're ready go ahead and start the battle So this is the order uh, you're going to have to hit the cubes to play the perfect melody. On the first turn, go ahead and choose R, E, E, R. D 
R C D on the second turn on the third turn choose E G A B On the third turn choose F E D E On the fourth turn, choose B, A, G, E. On the fourth turn, or fifth turn, I'm sorry, choose C, C, D, E. And on the seventh turn, choose A, R, E, D. Played it perfectly, the cube should disappear. And congratulations, you have just played one of the hardest cubic music scores in the game. So, if you got it right, you'll get an item. And this is a key item called the Sundurch Glasses. So this is what we've been waiting for guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what that item does. You can go to your items, valuables, and um, check it out. It is, let's see, where is it at? There it is. Almost to the bottom of the list, the Sunders glasses. And the description says, glasses that reveal unseen treasure chests. So what this item does is it allows you to find invisible treasure chests. Invisible treasure chests that has very, very, very good items inside of it. The best, some of the best items in the game and the best magic in the game. So with that taken care of, let's go treasure hunting for these awesome chests. And this is what I've been waiting for for so long. I'm so glad we finally got to it. We can now start to access some of the best stuff in the game. And who would have ever thought? Invisible treasure chests. Like, what the fuck? So, uh, the first stop we're going to go to is the Sea of Boss. So as soon as you enter the Sea of Boss, make sure that you have said into your party from here on out. 
because we are going to be pirate hunting as well as looking for invisible treasure chests and when you get here notice that the sea of boss looks completely different it's not beautiful like it was before but instead it's really windy and gloomy looking the sky is dark and the winds are strong the complete opposite last time we came here this place was beautiful S bright sunshine and beautiful bright, bright blue waters and now look it's just been completely ruined by Grand Staff so when you enter this area go ahead and head north to find a pirate in a barrel now you'll only be able to see this guy if Seth's in your party so make sure you have Seth in your party Once you talk to him, said will help him out of the barrel and he'll go straight back to the pirate fort. So that's pirate two of six. Now go ahead and take the eastern path all the way down and you will reveal our first invisible treasure chest. This is awesome. For opening the treasure chest, you'll get the Prismus Black Magic spell. A very powerful spell. Then go ahead and exit the Sea of Boss back to the world map. Remember, have said in your party because we're going to get all of the pirates in this episode, hopefully, if we have enough time. So you're going to want to have said in your party for the remainder of this episode at least. Back on the world map, the next stop is going to be the Sorceress's Mansion. The old Sorceress's Mansion. So let's go ahead and head over there now. Upon entering the mansion, go ahead and head forward for a scene. And it looks like Sed knows who that is. So, if you know what I'm saying, that's a pirate. <laughs> Before you enter the mansion, head over to the east and you'll see a treasure chest. Go ahead and open that for some master earrings. Very good stuff. This is what we've been waiting for, guys. Let's go ahead and get that on to Seth or Sarah right away. It's level 8 black white magic. <laughs> we completely skipped level 7 black white magic, but hey, I'll take it. We now have access to the most powerful white and black magic. With that taken care of, go ahead and enter the mansion. And then enter the west door. And here he is, the pirate that we saw in the window. So with that out of the way, we now have three of six pirates. 
go ahead and exit the mansion. And our next stop is going to be the city of Salmon. So once you enter Salmon, go ahead and head over to the big tree to see a pirate talking to two little kids. And after that, the pirates should head back to the fort. Number four of six. Only two more to go. Now the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and choose any port. so that we are back in control of the white boa and once you're back on the white boa press RB to go to the ship's interior Inside the pilot house, go ahead and head east and board the elevator. Take it to the guest area. And head on, head up to the north and enter the northern door. <clears throat> to reach the Queen's room. This is where we found the harp earlier, by the way.
there we go. That takes care of a creepy pirate crew member of sets. <laughs> what a creep up in the Queen's chamber and shit. But anyways, <laughs> after that really weird situation, go ahead and exit the Queen's chamber. <clears throat> that was uh, pirate number five, by the way. Only one more to go. Go ahead and head back to the pilot house. And then head over to Mac to get back, um, choose the part to head back to the world map. Now this last pirate that we gotta find is kind of a tricky situation. I don't know if you remember them weird uh, bubbles that we stumbled across while looking for the underwater items. Uh, just at the northern coast of Ypsilon area. But that's where we gotta go. So go ahead and press B while on the white boa to deploy the Nautilus. And pick up some speed and then hold X to jump up in the air and fly. I don't know if you guys knew about this or not, but this is a really, really cool area. Also, you can fly over the Crimson Forest and check it out. It's pretty nice. <clears throat> but once you're flying in the air, we're going to head north on the world map. Or you could just choose the uh, northern coast of Ypsilon to be taken even closer. But whatever you do, stay away from Grandstaff. We don't want to go anywhere near there right now. If you're looking for quick access to this area, just uh, press the right analog stick while in the white boa. And choose the northern coast of Ypsilon. And you should be right at the right area. <clears throat> Once you are at the small inlet, well it's not really small, it's kind of big. But once you're in the inlet, go ahead and press B to dive to the ocean floor. And on the northwest section of the inlet, look for a big, uh, a big uh, thing of bubbles drive over it with the Nautilus and you should get a scene So with that taken care of, there you might notice a orange dot in the area just to the east. That marks a treasure location. <clears throat> but I'm going to go ahead and save that for the next episode. Because I wouldn't want you guys to get um, confused. So I'll go ahead and head back to the white boa for now so that I can dock the Nautilus inside of the white boa.
so we don't have ships scattered across the uh, world map which makes it very inconvenient if you need the Nautilus so I'm gonna go ahead and store the Nautilus and the white boa and head to the ship's interior so I can save my game Go ahead and heal up and save and now that we have all six of the missing pirates that's gonna conclude this episode of let's play lost odyssey so I'll see you guys back where we go treasure hunting for some very very good stuff underwater and uh, we also are gonna head back to the pirates fort to see what's popping off pirate party <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time on the next episode of let's play lost odyssey